we're going to start talking about the components from the beginning. The first components in the gas turbine engine, which meets the air as the aircraft is uh, moving, is called the air intake, which is the air in it. And if you could, if you could see it, it's, this is where the air comes from, and they've got a pullet nose to smoothen the air and direct the, and we've got the veins here that directs the air at a correct angle to the compressor, which is the second section that comes after the air intake. Now, the compressor plays a big role in the, in the operation of the gas turbine engine. The compressor consists of a rotor blades, as you see here, like knives, um, that rotates all the time, and we've got the stator blades that are stationary. They're fixed, they do not move, they're fixed to the casing, to the outer casing of the gas turbine engine. Now, the, the one rotor of blades, of this rotor blades, with one uh, row of stator blades make a stage. So we consider this to be a stage, and then we consider this to be a stage, and so on. Now, as the air goes through every stage, the pressure increases. So we've got the maximum pressure, the maximum pressure at the end here. Just go back a little bit. Okay. Talk about talk about those being stages. Okay. So the compressor here is consists of one uh, row of rotor blades followed by one row of stator blades. The row of uh, rotor blades rotate, as you see here on the desk, and the stator blades do not move. They're stationary and they're fixed to the casing. One row of rotor blades followed by one row of stator bl uh, blades make a stage. So the air, as it enters, it goes over each stage. And as it goes over each stage, the pressure increases. So the pressure here is not going to be like at the end of the compressor. So here is the maximum pressure, and here is the minimum pressure of the air. Now, what we do is, in the compressor, is we compress the air and decrease its volume in preparation for it to enter the combustion uh, chamber, which is the combustion section that followed, right, followed the, the compressor section. So we get the air here at its maximum pressure, and decreased at the maximum uh, minimum uh, uh, maximum volume, or to this to the smallest volume, and then it enters the combustion section, where will be fuel sprayed from the uh, aircraft fuel system. Just do the last little bit, and um, when you say enters the combustion section, just pause there, sort of bring it to a conclusion there, and it enters the combustion section. Okay. Stop. So you want me to start from the compressor? Uh, you can, uh, yeah. Yeah. We got this, this is the compressor, which is one of uh, the major sections in the engine. And uh, the compressor consists of the rotor blades that rotates, and they're like knives, as you can see here. And we've got the stator blades that are fixed to the casing, that do not move, they're stationary. Now, one row of rotor blades, followed by one row of stator blades, make a stage. And in the engine, as you can see, we have the many stages. The more stages that we have in the compressor, the more pressure of more pressure the air will have. So every time the air passes over stage, its pressure increases, increases, increases. And at the end of the compressor, the pressure is at maximum. Now, the, the, the pressure, the air is pressurized and the volume is decreased. Now the air is ready to enter the combustion shock section. This is the combustion section that follows, uh, right, follows the, the compressor section. In the combustion section, the air enters and the fuel is sprayed from the aircraft fuel system, the, the supplies from the, the wings. It will be sprayed in the combustion section and a high energy igniter will be in the combustion section to give a spark. Now we have a fire here. So we're heating up the air to increase its volume rapidly. So the, the fuel uh, supply will be continuous as long as the engine is in operation. Now the air is expanding very rapidly and it goes to the turbine. In the turbine, its, it's construction is, is similar to the compressor, but in, at a different angles. Now in the turbine, we have also a stage, uh, a stages. We could have more than one stage, but in this case of this uh, module, we have one stage. 
So we have the stator plates or stator bays, and we have the rotor plates. Now, as the air escapes very rapidly, it will rotate the turbine. When the turbine rotates, it rotates the compressor. So what powers the compressor is the turbine. Now the air is expanding very rapidly as well and wants to get out from, from the engine. So it escapes from the exhaust, which is at the, the last section of the gas turbine engine. And it escapes at very high velocity, which is considered to be the action. And according to Newton's uh, third law, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So the air leaves the, the exhaust at very high uh, speed. That is the action, and the reaction is the movement of the aircraft forward, which is, we call it thrust. And the more thrust we will have, the more speed the aircraft will gain. Air, the gases are escaping from the exhaust at high velocity and the reaction is the movement of the aircraft forward producing what we call the thrust which moves the aircraft forward and allows it to fly. Very good. Right, just tell me about the difference between the two sorts of blades. The rotor blades rotate, they're connected in a shaft with the turbine and the, st the, the stator blades are fixed to the stationary, so they do not move the, the, to the casing, so they do not move, they're stationary. And both the rotor blades and the stator blades complete each other in increasing the pressure of the air as it goes over every stage. The air no, no, sorry.